like it. All right, good morning. So we just got loaded up a little bit ago with our cassette roll, as you saw. Pretty simple, pretty easy. About 13,000 pounds. We don't even need the drop axle. Just roll and go. So I just topped off on some fuel. Uh, I didn't need it, but it made sense to get it. Plus, I could stop and get myself a coffee in the morning. So we're leaving the Knoxville area. Um, and from here, we got 659 miles to get to Beloit, Wisconsin. Like I said, this is the exact same run I did about a month ago. And we're gonna do it the exact same way. We're gonna run up into Cincinnati, and then jump on over into Indianapolis, and then run up north that way. I think it's Interstate 65 or something like that. I can't remember right now and uh, running up into Wisconsin that way so that we can avoid all the annoying toll roads, Chicago traffic, and everything that no one likes. It'll take us, I think it's an extra 30 minutes on top of our normal time, but it's totally worth it. So that's the plan. We're just getting back onto Interstate 75. Run around north, and then, uh, yeah, i uh, still trying to figure out what I'm doing for tomorrow, but I'll figure that out here soon, and uh, hopefully we get ourselves something good. Hopefully also, we get ourselves a good couple weeks. Alright, that's it. I'll talk to you guys here in a little bit. done done for today we are outside of i already forgot and i just got here we're like an hour away from where we need to be where are we google help me out here where am i i'm lost <laughs> uh jonesville that's right jonesville we're at the loves just off of i-39 um i think this is exactly where i stopped a month ago while I was coming up here for this run so I'm parked here it's a little wet outside right now like scored me a corner spot I like my corner spots check out that big transformer over there I'm sure that's a heavy boy but um yeah we did good today right at 600 miles so far got another 60 or so to go about an hour and five minutes and uh i can't remember if i've mentioned what we're doing next i think i have but uh after this we're gonna shoe going over no i don't think i have um our next load our pickup we shoot over to elk village um illinois which is just outside of the chicago ring um, it's about as close as I want to go to Chicago. So we'll shoot down I-90 to get there. It's about an hour and a half drive, I would say, maybe a little less. Pick up some steel sheets um, and then take it to a trailer manufacturing place in Sykeston, Missouri. So that'll be tomorrow's load. Uh, that puts me out by Dyersburg, Tennessee. It's about 80 miles from there. Um, if you run flatbed, you know a lot of power transformers come out of there. I'm hoping to get something with those because those are usually easy money. I got a couple people that run loads out of there, brokers that I've been getting with. And one of them had something, but it was a multi-stop run that ended in California. I cannot do California. Um, so that was a no-go. But we'll figure something out and that will be for the weekend. So we'll get down into Sykeston middle of the day on um friday and uh hopefully have yeah we'll have plenty of time to be able to get whatever we're reloading so hopefully we don't have to go far unfortunately 
if we can't find anything in the immediate vicinity that means we're gonna have to do a fairly decent deadhead to either st louis or memphis and hopefully i don't have to do that but that's what we're working on oh i get out of the truck if it wasn't raining but the load's doing good as you saw it's just riding along back there um yeah ain't much to say other than that but um i think we're gonna call it quits for today and i'll uh i'll pick this back up tomorrow all right good afternoon we're at the prairie view rest area off of i-57 we're heading south and this is our load for today uh got some steel sheets this is what we picked up over in elk village they're stacked in a way, it's only 11,000 pounds. There's like four sheets, four sheets, four sheets, something like that. Um, so pretty simple. It might actually be a little bit more than 11 because normally on 11,000, I wouldn't need my drop axle, but I'm about a thousand over if I don't have that down. So it might be closer to 12 or 13, but that's no big deal. I would have had them moving up front, but I wasn't by the truck when they started sitting this on there. Uh, I was over in the bathroom. <laughs> so I never got to tell them to move it up front. If they moved it up front, I probably wouldn't need that axle, but that's okay. Um, anyways, got a big old sleeper there. You think that'll fit on my truck? There might be enough room right there. But anyways, jokes aside, that's what we're doing taking that down to Sykes from Missouri and uh, we'll deliver that first thing in the morning tomorrow from here it's only about a six hour drive it is one o'clock I'm taking a little break and whatnot and uh, we'll probably get basically right on the doorstep by the time we're shutting down for the evening um, I don't know where we're stopping yet uh, let's see if we can figure that out all right, so again, we're going to use Trucker Path. See if we can find ourselves a good place to stop. So we're going to Sison, Missouri. To put us down right there. Uh, we're 57 and I-55 cross. And I could probably... You guys know me. I like staying at Love's or Mom and Pop Truck Stops. I know there's Love's there in Sison. Um, so what we're actually going to do, here I can show you. Let's see, so how much can you see? So this is the Loves at 55 and 57, pretty much, in Sykes, Missouri. So there's 57, this is 55. And if we take a look over here, let's see. So what we're going to look for is small little areas that I can park the truck that semi might not fit which this one doesn't have any spot like that but i look for like those hash lines and whatnot but um anyway so let's click this let's see what its prediction says whoops we're gonna go over to parking so right now it says usually by seven o'clock it's full um it'll be after seven once i get there so i'm probably not gonna try it uh this is the graph you can see here and you can also see the history from previous days so like yesterday it was full just before seven and then tuesday it was open all the way up to about 12 a.m so anyways that's that so i don't think i'm gonna do that one because i'm probably not gonna make it anyway so we're gonna shoot back up this way find one that's a little less out of the way maybe somewhere around here so we got Loves over here. Oh yeah, that's a brand new Loves. I believe I stayed there once. It's a big Loves too. And I'm probably gonna go that way. So again, prediction, seven o'clock usually full, but I remember that one. That's a big Loves. That's probably where I'm gonna go. So let's go ahead and hit directions from current location. Confirm start location. And we got a four hour, 17 minute drive. And that will put us, uh, let's see here. 
Snag another stop for Sykeston, Missouri. Should be about an hour and a half away. So then anyways, to Aga and Sykeston. So here's Love's out there in, I forget, Marion, that's right. We'll stay there for the night, and then it's about an hour and a half drive over to Seiston, and I think that's okay. So, that's what we'll shoot for. Um, I could probably get closer, because it's only a four and a half hour drive, but ah, might as well stop early for today, sort of relax. So, that'll put us getting there. See, it's one o'clock, so 5.30. It's no big deal. I'm okay with that. I might decide to go further if I want to, but there's not a log out there. So we'll see how I'm feeling. But anyways, so we will drop off in Sykeson in the morning. And then we're going to bounce on over to Paducah, Kentucky. Pick up some steel sheets and run them out to Omaha, Nebraska. Um, I don't usually go out there because there ain't no work out there. But the money's right. So I'm willing to do it, and there's a chance we might be able to deliver that on Saturday. And if that's the case, then I could try to figure out what I'm doing for Monday and get a head start heading wherever I need to go for Monday. Um, so that's the plan. In the meantime, I'm gonna get out of here, get cruising, and uh, I think I'll end it off here. So I appreciate y'all for watching, and hope y'all have a good one.